In the following video, we are going to talk about implementing a custom mouse cursor in Microsoft Expression Blend 3. A cursor changing from a pointer to a custom cursor is a great usability technique and will give the user an indication that they can perform some sort of action, such as a click, or in the case of a busy cursor, that something is happening. In a previous video, we had created this red end call button. Let's run the project. And as you can see, we have a rollover state and a press state. Well, one thing you see that's missing is that the mouse cursor does not change. So let's go back to blend. Let's select the button. Let's go to the properties panel. Let's go down to common properties and you could see here that there's a cursor uh, property that has a drop down and right out of the box you have eight different cursors that you can select from so let's select the standard hand and let's run the application again and now when we roll over a button we have the hand cursor indication. So let's select another component. Right now I have the mute button selected. Let's change the cursor to the weight cursor. Let's run it again. And on the end call button, we have the hand cursor. And on the mute button, we have this busy cursor. So without writing a line of code, we have added custom cursors that Blend provides us, and we can place custom cursors on individual components. This concludes this video on implementing a custom mouse cursor in Microsoft Blend 3. I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.